Back in the year 2000, you could go to a grocery store, pick up a box of Cheerios, and have the probability of finding one of these $1 Cheerio coins, also known as a Sacagawea dollar. Now back then, not many people know this, but the probability of getting one of these coins was incredibly rare. There were only 5,500 Sacagawea dollar coins that were placed in nearly 10 million of these boxes. Now if you have one of these Sacagawea dollars, you could have something worth a lot of money and in this video I'm gonna break down some really nice exampled coins that sold for a lot of money but let's just jump right into this video so up first we have a 2000 P Sacagawea $1 Cheerios coin now the reason why this coin sold for $8,400 is because it graded at the PCGS grade of 67 now the better the condition your coin is in the more money it's gonna be worth if you're looking at this coin it doesn't look like it's in the best of condition there's a lot of what collectors call toning toning to the average viewer may appear to be damaged or staining, but in reality, that is what's called oxidation. Oxidation is what tones coins. Essentially, the air will react with the metals in the coin, changing the appearance of the coin. And because this one has some nice toning on it, it graded really highly, this coin sold for $8,400. Now, this 2014D $1 Sacagawea dollar sold for $84,000, and you're not going to believe why. So if you're looking at this coin, you can see the condition on the front is not the best. There's some nicks and gashes, but that doesn't really matter because this coin is called a discovery coin and it was graded by NGC and AU58 means almost uncirculated. So it went out into circulation before it was found. Now the reason why this coin sold for so much money is because if you flip it over, you will see this coin was accidentally muled with a presidential dollar. So this is what some collectors call a double denomination coin because you have two different types of coins on the front and the back. Whenever you have a coin that looks like this, it's going to be incredibly rare and valuable. So if you're Sacagawea dollar looks like this, you could have something worth a lot of money. Now, if you look at the back of the Sacagawea dollar, it looks like your typical 2000 Sacagawea dollar. Nothing crazy, but this one was graded by PC Just I missed it, 65 plus, and it sold for $144,000, and here's why. So if you flip the coin over to the front, you're going to see that it was mealed with a statehood quarter. You're seeing a pattern here. If a coin is accidentally mealed with a different type of coin, it's going to bring astronomical amounts of money. Please, if you have a coin like this, make sure you find someone trustworthy. I have a completely free ebook that gives you more information on coins. Just click the link below and enter your email address and I'll send you that book. But if you don't want to do that, just keep doing your research, keep doing your homework. And if you enjoyed this video, there's going to be another video on your screen. You do not want to miss that whatsoever.